Welcome back. Well, an Australian judge has ordered a high-ranking Vatican official to go on trial over multiple counts of sexual abuse going back decades. Cardinal George Powell was the Archbishop of Melbourne before he became the Vatican's treasurer. He entered a not guilty plea. Well, CNN Vatican correspondent Delia Gallagher joins us now from Rome. And Delia, he is the most senior member of the Catholic Church to face criminal charges over sex abuse allegations, and these date back to the 60s and 70s. Well, that's right, Linda. One of the difficulties in this case is we don't know the exact details of the charges. Some of them were dismissed by the judge in her decision today. Uh, of the others, we know that they relate, one of them relates to the 1970s and another to the 1990s when Cardinal Pell was Archbishop of Melbourne. Uh, Cardinal Pell, of course, pleaded not guilty in court today and shortly thereafter issued a statement. I'll read you that statement, Linda. He said, Cardinal George Pell has at all times fully cooperated with Victoria Police and always and steadfastly maintained his innocence. He has voluntarily returned to Australia to meet these accusations. He will defend the remaining charges. He would like to thank all those who have supported him from both here in Australia and overseas during this exacting time and is grateful for their continuing support and prayers. And Linda, we do not have a start date for the trial yet, but experts are saying it could take months and perhaps even go into next year before we have a final verdict. Linda? Right, so this could be quite drawn out. We know that he has pleaded not guilty. He's currently on a leave of absence from the Vatican. What is the Vatican saying about all of this? Well, the Vatican also issued a statement this morning, Linda, and to that point of uh, Cardinal Pell's leave of absence, let me read you what the Vatican statement had to say. They said, the Holy See has taken note of the decision issued by judicial authorities in Australia regarding his eminence, Cardinal George Pell. Last year, the Holy Father granted Cardinal Pell a leave of absence so that he could defend himself from the accusations. The leave of absence is still in place. And that last point, Linda, is the significant one because aside from the crucial question that justice be served in this case, one of its consequences for the Pope is that he's without his finance minister. And so the Vatican statement this morning is saying that essentially Cardinal Pell's job at the Vatican is going to remain open. Pope Francis said last year he will not comment on the case until justice has spoken and as we said that could go into next year uh, before we have that verdict. Linda? Much more on this no doubt. All right Delia Gallagher good to have you with us. Thanks so much.